Hello there. This video is all about adding full stops to your music. What? Has he taken leave of his senses? Possibly. Who knows? But hopefully it will become clear as we progress through this video exactly what I am talking about. So, first of all, let me just explain the background. Um, earlier today, I was playing the fiddle, as I usually do. I like to try and practice every day if I can. And I thought, well, let's see if I can come up in it with some new ideas for melodies. So I started playing around. And anyway, an idea started to take shape. And it sounded like an old time sort of melody. Well, that's fine by me. I love the old time sound. So I started to play, and as I progressed, I thought, well, this is interesting because I think I can add embellishments. But first of all, I'm going to play the basic melody that I played earlier on today. I'll let you have a listen to it. OK, it's in the key of G. Um, it's in 4-4 timing, and there's nothing fancy about it. it sounds like this. A nice little melody as I say nothing too fancy about it certainly not very difficult to play um, and then I started to play this over and over again because um, being a senior and not being a sprightly young thing anymore um, I have to play tunes a number of times to try and get them to stay in my my mind um, I can't just remember them straight away, if I, particularly if it's a new tune that I'm just coming up with the idea. Um, which is why I notate things quite, quite quickly using ABC. Um, anyway, so I start playing this over and over. And I say that I might four or five times perhaps. And um, gradually the, the tune is starting to stick. Um, and then I start adding things to it, like this. So what I did there was I added a couple of double stops. favorite there which is the second finger on the G string and the first finger on the D string which is basically a B and an E and also another one was the A on the G string which is the first note on the G string and the open D to me that I'm using those double stops rather like full stops. If you got a paragraph full of words and there were no full stops and we've all seen this on the internet when people are in these chat rooms typing away like crazy, the full stops get thrown out of the window and you just get this long sort of 
diatribe, like bl blurb. I think diatribe might be the other word I would choose to use. It's just a, a meaningless mass of words until you start to break them up into full stops and maybe line breaks or paragraphs even. But the thing is, you, you do need some fresh air in there somewhere to kind of make give the thing a little bit of a, a flow, make it easier on the eye for someone to, to read. And I thought, well, I'm using double stops like that because in actual fact, I'm using those do double stops to punctuate the ending of a particular phrase. Take another listen. See what I mean? So in actual fact, I thought, well, this reminds me of full stops. So that's where the idea for this um, video came from, because I thought it was something that was interesting. I'll play the remainder of the tune, including the um, double stops that I added to it. That was the first one. This is in the B section of the tune. Um, and I just simply play the open D and the open A. absolutely love that last bar because it goes like this so what I'm doing there at the very end is I'm putting my uh, ring finger on the third note of the G string that's the C and I'm putting my first finger on the first note of the D string playing the E so where it goes I've got my already got my first finger on the E and I just simply drop my ring finger onto the the D C I play the open D and then I come in with this nice chord with the A on the uh, G string and the open D. I just love that because what I've done there is I put two double stops in that give me a nice progression down. And it's, um, it's almost a return then back to the original tune. So it gets me right straight back into the original melody and it's given me a nice ending on the tail end of the B part of the tune. So I'm then straight into the A part again. So it, I just thought it was quite fun really because I thought well, this is very much like using full stops in a grammatical sentence where you've got a number of words and you want to break them up and sort of give yourself a bit of breathing space. It's worth thinking about because if you are composing tunes or you are playing tunes and you're reading directly from the notation, one of the things I do notice with a number of fiddle players who are sort of just reading the notation and playing the notes, as it were, is they don't seem to spot the breaks where there are natural kind of like breathing spaces in the tune. For, um, for, for, for actually giving a feel for the rhythm and the melody. It's difficult to interpret, but um, you've probably all seen it, where people do seem to be playing videos and making videos. And, and sometimes I wonder whether they're actually learning the tune and memorising the tune and actually learning to play it, because... Sometimes you do need to remember the tune and know it pretty much backwards way. And if you do make mistakes, if you do forget something and think, oh my goodness me, I'm not playing the right tune, it doesn't matter. Because as long as it's in the right key, the rhythm is correct and the bowing is in the sort of correct direction, etc., 
then it, it doesn't really matter. That's what fiddle playing is all about. So here we go with this tune again, with the full stops this time, or the double stops as I perhaps should call them. <laughs> included a link for the notation because I am aware that a lot of you enjoy using notation just to follow along with these videos so I've done that and I've tried to stick as closely to the original tune as I possibly can because it's quite difficult for me because I just go off on a tangent but having said that I've tried to stick pretty closely to this tune so hopefully this will be quite interesting and maybe fun to play along. Keep the comments coming in these videos, these sort of short chatty type videos. I do appreciate what you say and I do read your comments and they do give me further ideas um, and suggestions. Um, yeah, I will go and make a cup of tea now and leave the room, but seriously now, thanks for watching. Take care, have a great evening or a great day, whatever it is, whichever part of the world you're watching from, and see you again soon. Bye-bye now.